in today's video, I'm going to do a taste test of all the Starbucks Nespresso compatible capsules that I currently own. And I want to let you know which ones you can choose and enjoy for yourself. So I'm going to be uh, tasting them as a black coffee and as well I will add milk and just to see how the flavor translates. So let's get started. In today's video, I'm going to first talk about the Colombia. So the Colombia, it's an intensity number seven. It's one of the mildest uh, Starbucks coffee pots that you can find. And they mentioned that it's a single origin and you can have it both as an espresso or a lungo. So today we'll be trying it as an espresso and see how it compares with the others. So the next uh, capsule that I'm going to try is the Pike Place, Starbucks Pike Place. If you want to see a complete review and a few recipes with this capsule, I will attach the video down in the description. So the Pike Place is one of the most popular Starbucks flavors. It, ha it is an intensity seven, same as the Colombia. And um, we are going to try it again as an espresso and see how it compares. So the final uh, pot that I'm going to try today is the house blend. The Starbucks house blend is one of their most popular coffees. I used to drink it in the coffee bean version um, and I believe that it's their signature flavor. So this is a higher intensity, it's intensity 8 and they recommend you to drink it as a lungo. So uh, that is the order that I'm going to try the coffees and let's get back to tasting. Okay, so now let's taste our coffees. So we'll start with the Colombia which is an intensity number seven and it's supposed to taste uh, to have a flavor that has nuts like a nutty flavor. Let's see if I can pick up those flavors. So straight away looking at it the coffee looks slightly on the watery side. It has a beautiful crema, it has a nice smell. Mm. Okay, let's taste. Mm. Straight away I can tell this tastes very acidic. If you're not familiar, acidic coffee tastes a bit sour, a bit like a dry wine kind of feeling in your mouth. Um, it's not something that I really like. So far I, can't, I can smell the notes of the nuts, it's like a nutty flavor, but I can't really taste them on my tongue, all I can feel is bitter and kind of sour, sourish taste. So I hope this will change once I add milk. Yeah, definitely as the longer you let it sit, it tastes even more sour. So um, I need to try this with milk and give you my full review because right now black, I tell you, I don't like it. So next I'm going to try the Pike Place. Mm. Right off the bat, I can tell from smelling it that it smells like cocoa powder, which is something that I like. It's definitely not as nutty and pungent as the Colombia. Yeah, I really don't think this is going to be acidic. I can also tell it's more thicker. The crema is darker. You can look. The crema is much darker than the Colombia and there's much more body to it. So let's try it. Mm. I can definitely taste the cocoa <laughs> and slightly, yeah, I think this one is a really balanced pod. It's slightly bitter, it's slightly, um, slightly nutty. I also feel more nuts than I feel in the Colombia and it also has a smell of cocoa powder, so. Yum. Okay, so the last coffee that I'm going to taste today is the Starbucks House Blend. So this one is supposed to be the richest of these three flavors. Uh, you can tell from the color, it's really dark. Um, it doesn't have a thick crema. It's more uh, thinner, but maybe because it's the first one that I brewed. And it's slightly more watery than the Pike Place. Mm, the smell is not as strong as the Pike Place. Just give me a moment, I need a glass of water. Yeah, the house blend has that signature bitter, dark roast uh, taste that I think all the Starbucks lovers will be used to. And you'll definitely love this one if you like the coffee that they serve at Starbucks stores. 
it's very um it has a little bit of spicy taste it's spicy dark smoky uh, dark roasted and slightly too acidic for me uh, in terms of smell i can't really smell anything but burnt so um, if you're a coffee lover and you want to taste your coffee and you prefer medium roast this one won't be for you because i feel most of the notes are diluted because all you can taste is burnt okay so now i'm going to try them with milk so here i have brought some hot um, soy milk and i'm going to taste them all with milk so i'll start with the colombia okay Mm. <laughs> this is so interesting um, if you taste this black as an espresso it tastes super sour and it has a taste that really sticks to your tongue and um, it's really unpleasant I would say very acidic but once you add the milk and I haven't even added a full cup of cappuccino as you can see the taste totally disappears as if I'm drinking water you know there's totally no coffee taste and I'm quite disappointed you know because I thought the acidic coffee will taste good with milk and with ice so I would have to say I don't like this as of now <laughs> so the Colombia is not on my favorite list I can still smell nutty flavor but that's all there's no more coffee taste and I'm really disappointed so on a scale of 1 to 10 I will give this one a 2 not for me Okay, now next let's try the Pike Place. Mm. Wow, interesting. It has kept the beautiful cocoa, dark cocoa and uh, nutty flavor even if I'm adding milk and it also has a, a subtle sweetness to it. It's not acidic. It's probably one of the best coffees that I've tried. Mm. Yep. It's, it's really something that I would recommend. I would give this one maybe an 8 out of 10. Um, yeah, it's really nice chocolatey and nutty flavor. Down to the last coffee that we are trying today. So this is the Starbucks House Blend. Let's add some milk and see how it tastes. Mm. Wow, <laughs> we went a bit overboard. There you have it, Starbucks house blend. Mm. Yep, definitely. I prefer this with milk. It still tastes uh, dark roast, it still tastes very smoky, but um, I feel the acidity has slightly cooled down, has toned down the acidity. And especially if you are used to that Starbucks signature flavor of dark roast uh, coffee, I think you will like this one. Let me take one more sip. Mm. Yeah, it definitely tastes like a Starbucks coffee. That, that's how. I imagine and I think most people imagine Starbucks coffee to taste like I think it's for me personally I would prefer the Pike Place which I rated 8 out of 10 this one I would rate 5 out of 10 just because it's strong it's bitter but there's nothing I can't feel any other notes if, if you know what I mean so I think for for me yeah that's a solid average coffee so there you have it guys this is my uh, review of Starbucks uh, Nespresso compatible pods. We have tried the Colombia, the Pike Place and the House Blend today. So if you like this video, remember to give me a like, thumbs up, leave a comment what other coffees do you want me to try next and make sure you subscribe for my next video. See you, bye!